and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Nicola and I make lifestyle videos, usually videos um, about cleaning and organisation and hauls and vlogs and things like that. But today I thought I would film something a little bit different because, well, as you will have seen from the title, I recently went through quite a horrific experience and I really thought it probably was wise to share it so that other people don't have to um, go through what I went through um, or yeah get scammed like I was. Uh, another YouTube channel that I watch recently had a similar experience and they shared it and said you know obviously they didn't want other people to have to go through it and yeah there are parts of what happened that are yeah that I think a lot of people aren't aware of so I thought I would share. So story time with Nicola today. Um, right I'll get comfy. So uh, a couple of, no let me say three, maybe four weeks ago on a Friday I was working at home and I got a call on my mobile phone. Um, it was not a number that I recognised and I cancelled the call. I didn't answer it because um, I don't generally answer. It's usually a sales call or something like that so I didn't bother answering it. And then it rang again and um, I had suddenly remembered that just the day before I had um, contacted our mortgage provider because I wanted to change the deal that we were on because we come up to the end of our initial fixed term and um, they were going to call back so I thought it might be them so I answered the call and a man was on the other end of the phone who said he was calling from our bank from the fraud department and was I able to talk so it's like on instant alert um, also because a little bit of back history about four years ago I think we did have some money taken out of our account um, uh, via someone ringing up via telephone banking and managed to take out I think £700 from our account um, we got that back it was a, a bank issue it was their fault um, and we got the money back instantly so um, because it had happened before I was sort of not entirely surprised that there was somebody ringing from the bank I think so yeah, he said he was from the bank he asked me lots of standard security questions that you would expect to be asked if someone was calling from your bank um, and then he said um, had I expected to make a payment today to a Mrs Shah for £600 for rent I said no no I don't pay rent um, and he said all oh, right okay well we suspect this suspected it was a fraudulent payment I was like okay okay um, and uh, he said, right, we need to reverse that payment for you. I was like, okay. Um, and then I thought, oh, I need to ask, just to double check that this person is who he says he is. So I just said, how do I know that you are from the bank? You know, can I have some sort of confirmation that you are who you say you are? And he said, oh, absolutely, Miss Bromley, I know. Um, I completely understand. Um, that's fine. If you just check the number that I'm calling from and then check the back of your bank card, you'll notice that it's from the same, that I'm calling from the bank. So I, I did that. I ran downstairs and I got my bank card and it was the number on the back of the card. So I thought, okay, fair enough. You know, you're from the bank. So we went on. Um, he'd asked me lots more security questions. And then he said, in order to reverse the payment, we need you to go into your app. I thought it was a bit odd. Um, now, looking back now, you know, the reason why I hadn't originally made a video about this was because this doesn't really put me in the best light. You may watch this and think, what an absolute idiot. How on earth could you have fallen for all of this? Um, but I think at the time when you're there, when you're on the phone and, and you're trying to do what they're asking because you want the issue to be solved, I think you just go along with it. And I did, you know, I asked lots of questions and everything I asked, he seemed to give me a good response, you know, the sort of response I was looking for. So um, he'd said I needed to go into my app he said please don't tell me um, the password for your app you must never um, give that to anybody um, you can put it in and then just give me the code for um, I think it was I can't remember whether it was for generating something or I don't remember anyway he asked me for the code the little code that you get I said but why do I need to give you that he said oh it's because of this that and the other he gave me some story which I fell for and believed and um, I um, gave him the code and he then um, said also there had been another £600 requested from a Mr Kumar, was I aware of that? And I said no, no we haven't 
made any payments or anything like that so he said okay yeah we'll, we'll stop that one as well and so he kept going asked me for another code which I gave to him after asking questions like I don't understand why I'm needing to give you can, can you not just reverse he said no that's not how it works unfortunately we need to do it this way by you giving us these codes he said but I'm not asking for your password so you know that's safe and I thought okay and I, I don't, thinking back now why I didn't just say do you know what I'm going to hang up and ring the bank <laughs> again back um, and just double check but I didn't because I checked the number and he said he was from the bank and it looked like he was from the bank so um, so yeah I carried on and then he said um, we were coming to the, what I thought was the end he said oh he'd recovered that money and then he said have you set up a loan today and I said a loan no no I'm not set up a loan he said well a loan has been set up for ten thousand pounds in your name of course I was <laughs> instantly panicked and um i said well no i've not set up a loan what what do you mean what is in my account he said well no the person who set up this loan has paid it to an existing payee on your account he said that's what happens these these this happened a lot recently these fraudulent uh, people have gone into your accounts and set up a loan and then pay it into an existing account so that they can retrieve it from that person and i was like really um i said well who, you know he said well do you know somebody and he gave the name of this lady and i said well yeah I know who she is she is it was a lady that I bought some cakes from for Archie's birthday random I've never spoken to the lady I dealt with her through Instagram um he said well they've paid it into her account could you perhaps contact her and check whether she's received this money I was like this is just bizarre absolutely bizarre but I was like I don't I've never spoken to this lady I've dealt I've only dealt with her via message anyway I was like right fine I'll bring her so I googled her details I got her number I rang her and she was lovely and um, I said can you just check if there's if you've got some money from me somebody has set up a loan in our name and apparently paid it to you she goes why are they paid? I said I don't know but apparently they have so she checked and yes true enough she had received ten thousand pounds from us into her bank account I was like oh god and I, I was shaking I was so worried and I didn't know what to do for the best and this man said right okay well what we need to do is to get that money recovered into our bank recovery account. I'm gonna give you the details of this account um, and you need to pay it into that account. And at this point I thought, no, 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 this is not real. This has got to be fake. But I took the details of this account because I thought, well, I think I need to know this information. Um, he'd put me on hold for a little while before this. Anyway, so I, I wrote down this account details and I said, so just let me get this right. You want me to ask this lady to pay this money into this random account? like a random account it wasn't and he said yeah and you need to to put the reference recovery I was like right okay I'm gonna hang up now and I'm gonna ring the bank back and then I will check whether this is real because this does not seem real and he was like no no Miss Bromley it's fine please don't worry you know if this is exactly legit this is what we would always do I said no 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 it, it can't be and if it is that's fine I will ring you back you know so he was still going on Nicola no, please don't please don't I said no I'm going to hang up so I hung up the phone he then ran back instantly um, which I didn't answer um, and then I rang my bank and obviously it turned out that no he was not legitimate he had not rung from the bank um, and they confirmed that yes a loan had been set up and paid to this lady for ten thousand pounds and also while I'd been on the phone to him they had withdrawn 800 pounds out of each of our two accounts so 1600 pounds in total had been taken from our accounts while I was on the phone and I just felt sick uh, by this point I was sobbing as you can imagine I was in an absolute state um, and the bank was so lovely but I think sometimes the more lovely people are the worse you get and the more upset you get um, but the lady was really lovely and she said right what do you want to do about the £10,000? Is it safe with this lady? I said, well, it is at the moment. I don't know her very well, but I think it's as safe as it can be with her. So I said, we'll leave it there for now. Um, and they logged the fraudulent activity with the app scam team. So most banks, certainly in this country, sign up to a code, an app scam code, which means that you are protected to a certain degree with when things like this happen. Um, and... Um, they said we're going to register this with these this team and they will get back to you in on our, the next working day Well, this was Friday. So obviously it wasn't going to be till Monday and I thought oh, I don't know what's going to happen between now like 
that was, I mean, £1,600 is a lot of money to just be taken from your account. Um, I had lots of plans for the weekend, which I thought, well, I'm not going to be able to do anything. I was supposed to be going to have my hair done, so I had to cancel that because, I mean, that's the least of, that was the least of my worries, but, you know, I had to cancel that because I thought I can't afford to pay for my hair to be done. I might have lost all this money. Um, and, yeah, so they said that they'll get back to you and they, they um, set up a time slot. And she did say to me, I said, well, he said he was calling from the bank and the number was the bank. And she said, well, that number is an incoming phone number only. If that number ever calls you, it will not be the bank ever. And I wish they had put that on the back of the card. I haven't actually looked, but I'm pretty sure it isn't, doesn't say that on the back of the card. Um, and that is the thing that I wanted to get across that I was completely unaware that somebody could scam a phone number like that and make it look like you know, maybe I'm naive, I don't know, but I didn't realise that they could do that, that they could make it look like they were calling from somewhere that they weren't. Um, and I think everyone needs to know that. <laughs> and also, I think from now on, if ever anyone ever calls me and says they're from the bank, I'm just going to say, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit busy at the moment. Can I take your name and I will call you back in about 10 minutes and I will call them back. Um, always, 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 always. I will never, ever, ever believe that someone who says they're from the bank is from the bank ever. And I know that similar fraudulent things have been done with HMRC as well. And HMRC would never ever call you. So um, I think generally, if you ever get called by HMRC or the bank asking for money, it won't be them. So never worry about hanging up and calling them back. So moving on. Um, so that was yeah on the Friday afternoon. I then had to go on the school run, pick up um, my daughter and her friend and take them to gymnastics which I did um, I let them go in I, I couldn't go in and see the other mums because I was in such a state um, and I sat in the car and I rang the bank again um, or did I no I didn't I rang the lady who had the ten thousand um, pounds I'd spoken to Andrew my other half who clearly as you can imagine was not happy <laughs> um, I think how could you be so stupid probably came up more than once but you know and I I appreciate that and I probably would have said the same of somebody else if my mum had done something like this or a friend I probably would have thought oh my god I would never fall for that but if you're not in the situation and you're not there and you're not in the moment you never know how you'll react to a call like that so it just all seemed so genuine and they these people are clever um so yeah I rang I'd spoken to Andrew and he said well look get this money back into our bank so that we can cancel this loan so I rang the lady and she was lovely and she um, transferred the money straight back into our account which appeared straight away um, I then rang the bank and spoke to the loans department who cancelled the loan completely um, and the £10,000 was gone and I didn't have to worry about that because I thought £1,600 is one thing £11,500 is another thing altogether and I couldn't I just can't imagine how I would have coped if we'd have owed that, money, that sort of money um, so that was done and then they said well look I'm sure you know I said will we get our money back and they said well I don't know but you know I'm sure it'll be fine the, the, the app scan people will ring you on Monday so I we went through the weekend um, as you can imagine it was all very stressful and not pleasant and I actually was really quite unwell for about 10 days afterwards which I'm 100% sure was the stress of the whole thing I felt sick um, I couldn't sleep it was just constant like worry and upset I felt like we'd been burgled <laughs> if you imagine you know someone yeah someone oh, fair enough someone hasn't been in our house and taken our things but someone had been talking to me on the phone who wasn't what who they said they were they were a criminal and they'd gone in and taken my money out of my account and I felt so uh, angry um, and stressed out so so yeah so Monday morning I dropped the children at school and I was just sat working and I was waiting and waiting and waiting for the bank to call I was so desperate for them to call and just to know what was happening anyway they rang up and they asked me to explain what had happened so I went through the whole tale and told them and she said okay okay right well I can see here that um that the payments were reversed and that the loan has been recovered and cancelled I said I'm sorry pardon and she said that well the loan has been cancelled I said no 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 not that the bit you said before that she goes well the payments were reversed I said, were they? <laughs> and she said, yes, yes, that happened almost straight away. As soon as you reported it, the, the team were able to reverse the payment, so the money went straight back into your account. 
And if you, you can't, well, I'm sure you can imagine the absolute sheer relief that I felt at that moment. And I was like, oh, so um, thankful, but also very tearful and upset because I was just so relieved that we got this money back. Oh, I feel tearful now. Um, and, and also that these, I won't swear, people didn't get any of our money. They got nothing. And I was so happy about that, more than anything. Um, so yeah, the money came back to us, and, and we hadn't. She did. She could. She said, "Well, how did you not know?" I said, "Well, because when this all happened, they stopped our online banking, so we couldn't go on and check. They just cancelled it all, so that you know, obviously, nobody can get any further access to the accounts, and we had to set it all up again. Um, so we couldn't check our account, and I didn't think to go and have a look at the." at the um at the cash point because that's not always completely up to date so um so yeah i didn't we didn't know we didn't know that the money had gone back so we'd spent all weekend worrying um when actually we didn't need to but do you know what it was a lesson learned um a lesson that i will not forget ever um and yeah so we are not out of pocket thank goodness um it caused a lot of distress a lot of stress a lot of worry, a lot of upset, but it is something that I think I needed, ha well, didn't need to happen, but something I have learned a huge lesson from, you know, I will be wary now whenever anyone calls me, um, saying they're from the bank or from HMRC or whoever, I will always be wary and I will never believe <laughs> what anyone tells me when they say they're from the bank and I will always ring them directly back. Um, yeah, so that's my little story and I just wanted to share because I think it's important that people understand that these things happen and you could be the most intelligent, the most switched on person in the world and still fall for something like this. I'm not saying I'm the most intelligent or switched on person in the world, but I think in a situation you just don't know how you would react. You don't know. I think you go along with things and they, these people are so, so clever and say all the right things um, to make you think that they are who they say they are, even when they're not. So, um, so yeah, be wary. If anyone ever calls you, just don't worry about, you don't have to be rude. You can just say, look, I'm going to, I'm busy. I'm going to have to call you back and, and do that. Don't worry about doing that because it will save your sanity. It will save you money almost certainly. Um, and I, you know, thank goodness for the app scam code, which, and the team that are able to recover money in situations like this. Um, I think even if they hadn't recovered it, we would have been covered and at least got, if not all of our money, some of our money back. Um, I looked on the website for AppScam and they gave some scenarios of when you would get money back. And my scenario was almost identical to one they had outlined there. Um, when someone tells you they're from the bank and you have legitimate reason to believe that they are. Um, so yes, thank goodness for AppScam and thank goodness for the team there um, for helping us, or me. Um, and yeah, all is now fine. But yeah, just be wary. And um, I hope you like this video. Uh, a bit different for me, but I really felt it was important to make this and share this pretty horrific experience, but also a life lesson. So uh, thank you very much for watching and give this video a thumbs up, share it please, if, uh, if you think other people would benefit from knowing this information. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.